So today I'm gonna to show you how to pay your Apple credit card. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and load up here on the Apple Wallet app. If you don't have access to it on your homepage, you can actually just search for it by swiping down on your screen. Now, as we go through this as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep on learning and growing when it comes to using your financial services. So here we're gonna go and click on Apple card and that actually took us right to our Apple credit card. So if I hit done for just one moment, um, you can see I got a bunch of different credit cards here and different types of cards. You can also see I have a payment reminder, which is really cool that they remind you about paying your card on time. So this is the Apple credit card itself right over here. Yours might look different as far as colors because it actually does change a little bit as you keep adding money onto the card. So if we click on here, you can see what our current card balance is, $223.40 out of what is currently available. And you can see where it says payment due in whatever amount of time. Ours obviously says five days and we can click on pay. Now there's something really important here that we need to note when it comes to paying on the Apple credit card. You saw earlier when it had a balance of over $223, but when we load up here to pay, it says that we only have to pay $7.62. So this is what's really cool about uh, Apple when it comes to knowing how much we need to actually pay to help avoid paying interest. And so you can see right over here, it says no interest charged. If we kind of hold it back, uh, I actually can't go further back than that because that is our minimum balance, but I can keep moving forward and pay more than the minimum. And I can all the way go to the very end of the circle and pay the full amount, which is at $223.40. Now, sometimes there would be another dot right over here, depending on how much I've had charged on my card. And if I would go way past what the minimum would be, uh, so that dot would actually tell me that I need to pay this much to hit the minimum. And then I would have to pay an X amount to be able to avoid any interest. So this right here, it says no interest charged. And again, if I had more, it would give me the option to at least hit the minimum and then how much I would have to pay to not pay any interest. So that's a really cool feature to allow you to not have to pay interest, but still get a lot of benefits from using a credit card, such as building your credit score and also getting those cashback bonuses. So if we wanted to just go ahead and pay the minimum, we can, or we can pay the full amount at the two. $223.40. And you can see over here, uh, there is the pay now on the bottom right hand side. So if we click on pay now, it's going to bring up the account we have on file, but we can actually tap on here and choose a different account if we needed to, if we have multiple banks on file. So if everything looks good, we can close that back up. And right over here, it's going to say confirm with the side button. So we're going to double tap on the side. It's going to use our face ID, verifying everything looks good. And then it's going to go ahead and click on done for us. And so from right over here, if you go down to latest transactions, you can see that our payment is pending. Once that pending has gone through this account, since we'll be paying it off in full, we'll go back to the basic white version of the card uh, without any color added to it at that time. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And now I want you to actually watch this next video right over here to learn more about utilizing Apple Wallet.